Um, what led you to Heidelberg? So I was actually in Sweden uh, finishing up a research project and I saw a job ad from Heidelberg University. We are here with another episode of Faculty Friday and today we have Mark Mitchell with us. So we're going to be asking him some questions and getting to know him a little bit. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. Anytime. So I have my questions on my phone, so give me a second. All right, so I'm going to ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself. So where are you from? Do you like a cricket? <laughs> no. Oh, gross. I can't. Oh, come on. I can't. <laughs> what do they taste Try like? It. What do they taste like? Uh, like, uh, kind of like a peanut a little bit. Like a very I crunchy like peanut. Bugs. <laughs> They're roasted. They're good. <laughs> Putting her on the spot. I know. Emma's going to be so mad at me if I don't. Do oh! <laughs> We're talking about food production in my environmental science class, so oh. just had those in my pocket, but <laughs> oh. tasty. <laughs> Not like the texture. <laughs> kind of disintegrates. So okay, great, great start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so other than that, where are you from? I'm originally from the Cincinnati, Ohio area. Okay, I can't get this taste out of my <laughs> um, What led you to Heidelberg? So I was actually in Sweden uh, finishing up a research project and I saw a job ad from Heidelberg University. I was already familiar with Heidelberg and definitely familiar with the National Center for Water Quality Research, which mm -hmm. is one of the top uh, water quality labs in the country. And that's one of the things that I study is, is water quality. And so right away it jumped out and you know, the rest is history. I applied and it's, it's been a great position. What kind of research were you doing in Sweden? So studying green roofs, green roof ecology, and one of the things I look at is the water that's coming off of these these roofs. So green roof is just plants on a roof, basically a new engineered ecosystem on top of a building. So it's a really unique ecosystem. That's pretty cool. And so we're just looking at the water that's coming mm -hmm. out, how that system is changing over time. That kind of stuff. What do you teach here? So I teach a variety of classes. Uh, I teach in Intro to Environmental Science, ENS 101, so that's where, hence the crickets. Uh, <laughs> field, <laughs> field Biology, which is a fun one. We go out and uh, survey local diversity. For, um, uh, animal behavior is one class I'm teaching right now. Uh, ecology, all sorts of those types of classes. Intro, intro, uh, bio, intro bio, first semester. So. Awesome. Did you play sports when you were younger? Yes, uh, I love sports. I played baseball and basketball were my, my best sports, um, and I still love them today. I don't, actually don't get out quite as much as you probably can tell, but, um, <laughs> but I, still, I still enjoy watching them and um, can't wait till my daughter's old enough to, to play a game of catch. <laughs> so you have a family? Yes. Uh, Family that, that, that grew very recently. Really? Yeah, we just had twins in, in April, a boy, boy, girl. And uh, I also have an older daughter. She's going to turn four next next week. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, keeping so, me busy. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so what is your favorite thing about Heidelberg? So I love the small class sizes. I, mm -hmm. You know, I always tell when people come to visit, the, the, the thing that really separates Heidelberg out in my mind is the small class sizes. So we have this, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, these one-on-one -on -one opportunities. I know all my students' names, um, or will very soon in my bigger classes, <laughs> I promise. Um, and, uh, but we still have a lot of resources. For example, we have this water quality lab that mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, one of the top water quality labs in the country, if not uh, internationally. Um, so we have the small class size, and then we have these resources, that, you know, top of the line resources for doing research and so it's just the incredible uh, incredible mix of those two th different mm -hmm. things yeah I agree for English classes I'll be in classes and there'll be like six people in yeah there. so yeah. it's really nice yeah, yeah it's really nice so are you a soccer fan I you know it's funny I love watching soccer mm -hmm. but I don't follow a team I you know I need to make it out to more of your guys <laughs> games like we were just talking about mm -hmm. um, but I, lo I love soccer yeah. I just don't follow the team. I understand. Yeah. Well, this Saturday, <laughs> come around. I know. <laughs> so what are your favorite sports to watch? Baseball is my favorite. I'm a big, big Reds fan, so go Red Legs. <laughs> and uh, also football. Yeah. yeah. I agree. 
So now I'm going to ask you some fun questions. All right. What, um, who is your favorite Disney princess? Oh my goodness, favorite Disney princess. <laughs> Uh, so I'm very familiar with actually with the Disney princesses. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Um, hmm. I like uh, Tangled. What's her name? The Rapunzel. long hair. Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is she oh. considered a princess? Yeah, so, I would say right? so. Yeah. But one of my favorite characters is Olaf. We watch Frozen all the time, <laughs> and Olaf is just hilarious. <laughs> and not a princess, I know. Yeah, I've never seen Frozen. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I like Moana a lot. So ah, yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. Like music. But I've never just sat down and taken the time to watch Frozen. That's I know I need to, but I just never have. So, what is your favorite TV show or Netflix series? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> favorite TV show or Netflix series? Um, I, you know, it, it sounds kind of lame, but I love Planet Earth. Planet Earth 2. I actually love this. I don't know if that's considered a, a, a Netflix series, but um, it's on Netflix. So. Yeah, no, those um, are so entertaining. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you can just put them on. And the quality of the filming is amazing. One. Yeah, I completely agree. I love those. I watch what, them all the time. What's your favorite series? Um, like overall favorite series? Yeah. Hmm, that's really hard. I really like that 70s show. Oh, yeah. I've seen it like Gosh, that times. stood the test of time. Huh? <laughs> yeah. That's still around. I like that. I like How I Met Your Mother a lot. Um, I'm trying to think. I really like Grey's Anatomy, too. Yeah. So those are kind of typical answers, though. Uh, do you have a favorite movie? Rudy. Mm, that's a good one. <laughs> my dad always watches that movie. I haven't watched it in a number of years, but mm -hmm. it's absolutely my favorite. Yeah, I remember watching that with my dad when I was younger, and I just thought it was funny, I don't know. It's a good one. <laughs> okay, so if you can make a rock band out of any three faculty members and yourself, who would you choose and why? Oh my. <laughs> this is my favorite question. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Just gonna pick people in my department because I think yeah. they would be, uh, they'd be good. So uh, Dr. Pernesky, mm -hmm. Dr. Justin Pernesky, he seems like he'd be a really good drummer. Okay. I don't know why, but it seems <laughs> like um, seems like he would have good good rhythm. Okay. Um, and uh, Dr. Uh, Berger, Amy Berger, mm -hmm. um, she seems like she would she would be pretty funky. She, yeah. She, she would she would be good. She would she would fit on. Okay. Oh, I need one more. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, I'll go outside of the department. We'll go to go we'll go to chemistry. I think um, Dr. Rorting would be good. Okay. He seems like he mm -hmm. would be very, you know, he he would be very good at keeping a tune. Okay. Very yeah. scientific band. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Maybe you guys could. Play. But there's some funk there. Yeah, you, know? you can play in gum can, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be a good contributor. To this band. I'm not musical at all. Uh, neither am I. So, <laughs> so that's all the questions I have for you. Great. Have anything else? You want to add anything? No, like I said, thank you for having me. Thank this you for fun. doing this. It was really yeah. fun. Hope you enjoyed the cricket. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> Make sure you check out our other videos online and follow us on social media, and we'll have more of these videos every Friday. Awesome. <laughs>